Hello, my name is Thomas Kralo and welcome to my YouTube channel, where we discuss all things trading, finances and money in general. Now, if you're not uh, subscribed, then please subscribe and also follow me on Instagram where I discuss and post interesting things as well. So this video will be video number two with tips for the beginners. If you haven't watched the part number one, then go ahead and watch it first. And let's get right to it. Tip number one, never risk more than 1% of your trading deposit per trade. A lot of people, especially when trading uh, Forex and after taking some ridiculous online courses or watching a few YouTube videos, they open a trading account with $500 or $2,000 and they start trading with huge leverages and their risk per trade is 5 or even 10 or sometimes even 15 uh, or 20 percent of their whole trading deposit. That means that it's going to take only 5 or 10 trades, negative trades, for the uh, trading account to be blown up completely. And that is something that is just an uh, unnecessary risk. And to avoid that, use a simple rule simple to follow rule which is never risk more than i should even say 0.5 to uh, up to one percent of your total trading deposit per trade trust me if you use this rule it's gonna save you a lot of money and in my seven years of day trading it has saved me thousands and thousands of dollars tip number two when you're trading of course you have a stop and i really hope that you're using stops and the other thing that most traders are using is a take profit and a take profit is the amount of points or pips or money that you would like to take on any given trade so when i'm trading i'm mostly trading with a take profit so i know what my risk is and I know how much money I want to make on this trade. Now the take profit, um, I move it sometimes but mostly I try to keep my trades as systematic as possible therefore I am forced to use a stop and a take profit. Now and when I'm trading I use a very strict ratio. I never open a trade if I do not expect the market to be able to uh, move at least a certain amount of points to give me a 3 to 1 ratio. Now uh, uh, let me explain what this means. If your stop is, for example, you're trading, for example, I don't know, DAX indices, or no, let's say you're trading the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average and uh, it's around 30,000 points, so maybe you'll be using this to stop around oh, 40 points or 50 points, <clears throat> let's say 50 points for a, a round count. Um, in this case, your take profit must be at least uh, 150 points. And let me, I know that it might sound like it's quite difficult to take 150 points and it is somehow true. However, uh, there are many tools uh, that I will be trying to discuss later in this YouTube channel. So subscribe if you want to find out more about my trading strategy. So when you are trading with a 3 to 1 ratio, you're risking 50 points for 150 points and there are many tools that I, uh, that I was actually trying to say here, uh, many tools that will allow you to um, understand and reasonably expect to uh, the market to move. So there are certain situations in the market where I can see that the market um, is quite uh, fragile, it's quite slow, maybe perhaps uh, hectic and uh, um, it's consolidating and we are squeezed into a channel or maybe we have a flag formation or many, many, many other uh, more complicated things. And then I could, cannot really reasonably expect the market to move 150 points. And that's when I would not take even the best looking signal. But that's a topic for another day. Now, reason why I'm using a 3 to 1 ratio. So think about it. It's in four trades, you need just one to be successful for you to break even. And that is just a holy grail. And for me, when my mentor about seven years ago taught me this rule, it just changed my trading. I would not take a lot of signals that would actually have no, I, I had no expectation for the market to move in my favor a certain amount of points. And then I realized simple logic. Why should I risk 50 points for taking, for an expectation of taking 20 points or 30 points or 50 or even 100 points? I try to keep take profit the uh, take profit to be around 3 to 1 ratio that means that once again 25% of your trades have to be successful and you will break even and that means that you if you have only a 30 or to a 30 to 35% success rate you will be already uh, in a really nice you will have a really nice profit already 
Isn't that fantastic? And that's what I'm always teaching all of my students, that trading, um, it is a really tough job and having a really high success rate can be very, very challenging. Now, having a success rate of 60% in trading, uh, that's a really high number. And a lot of people think that, you know, 60% or 50%, that's not that very much. But in reality, when it comes to trading, and uh, it's it's a lot. It's uh, even me personally, my average was, I believe, around 40 something percent. And but I made huge profits simply because I used a three to one or more uh, ratio. Some of the trades that I've been taking uh, have been 10 to one, eight to one, seven to one. So for example, I would be risking hundred dollars to make a thousand dollars or seven hundred dollars. And then if I have one successful trade, I can fail about seven or eight times uh, before uh, my profit is wiped out. And now so many traders, they risk a hundred dollars to take $20 or to take $50. And that makes absolutely no freaking sense to me whatsoever. And that is the tip that I want to give you guys that will actually, even if you're an experienced trader, this will uh, help your trading tremendously. It is a simple rule and trading, yes, there are some complex things uh, in trading, of course, that I'm using also, but there are also a lot of simple things. But there are so many of them and it's just a giant structure. And I'll be trying this channel, I'll be trying to give you uh, as many as I can, of course, for free. And tip uh, number three uh, for this video is keep trading statistics. I cannot stress this enough. It's just like trading algorithm. So many people neglect this and they are too lazy to keep their statistics. Just create a, there are so many online services for traders. Uh, go to Google and Google trading statistics and uh, there are quite a few ser services that will uh, let you keep the trading statistics and you can actually modify um, the, the sheets with the information that are in them. And me personally, I just, I'm an old school guy, I guess I, I'm just keeping an Excel file where I have quite a few uh, data that I put into uh, this uh, Excel file. Uh, for example, the time of your trading, the market that you're trading, the kind of a signal that you're taking, maybe some notes, uh, the size of stop, the size of take profit, uh, the ATR, the average true range, if you're using it, for example, for evaluating the, the volatility of a market. And that is something that will enable you to later adjust your algorithm. And that ties into my previous video and tip number three of previous video of uh, writing up your trading algorithm. When you have your trading algorithm and you keep proper clean trading statistics, then you will be able to see what works, what doesn't work, and you will be able to adjust your trading algorithm. So adjust generally your trading more systematically and on point. And this is something that will save you a lot of money. And trust me, you will progress a lot faster as a successful trader. And uh, another important thing is that when it comes to trading statistics, just to make things clear, uh, you need to be recording very specific data. It shouldn't be very, very broad. You must be able to analyze it. And of course, uh, for you to be able to make any kinds of conclusions, uh, you should have at least 100 trades or well I would even say two to three hundred trades um, of similar uh, structures and similar type for you to be able to analyze it in any kind of way. If you have just 10 trades uh, in your statistics you cannot really analyze anything just yet. Proper trading statistics take time to compile and they need to be quite specific but if you can learn how to do that then uh, trust me, it's going to imp improve your trading substantially. All right, that's it for today. And once again, my name is Thomas Kralo and I've been day, day trading successfully for the past seven years. And I've created this YouTube channel to share my experience. So if you have any questions, please comment below. I'll see you in the next video.